What's the truth to be here? Today we have the weekly setup review of Monday Night Raw. They kicked the show off with The New Day and Jey Uso versus Imperium. Really good match. It was a six-man tag match going back and forth and everything. Decently long. But The New Day ended up, the New Day and Jey Uso ended up picking up the victory. Gunther was laid out. He was GR and eventually they launched up in the air for like a 3D. But it was with The New Day holding him up. Jey Uso hits him. Bam. Then Samoan Splash. One, two, three. They picked up the victory. And then next week on Monday Night Raw. Gunther will be defending the Intercontinental title against Jay Uso. After that was an Elimination Chamber qualifying match. This match, I actually thought Bronson Reed was going to win. It. Bronson Reed turns Bobby Lashley because Perth, Australia is his hometown. So I thought maybe they're going to have final testament or something. Get involved and screw over Bobby Lashley so Bronson Reed can go on and go into the Elimination Chamber. I was wrong. It was a clean finish. Spear, one, two, three. Bobby Lashley is going to the Elimination Chamber in Perth, Australia. After that was JD McDonald versus R Truth. J.D. McDonough ended up picking up the victory. He was distracted by Dominic and stuff. Then the whole Judgment Day get in the ring. They jump him, beating the holy hell out of him. Arthur's like, what's going on? He still thinks he's in the Judgment Day. But he gets beats up. DIY comes out saving him with chairs, taking it, trying to take everybody out with the chairs, saving our truth. Andrade had a package video backstage talking about how he, he showed up in WWE years ago, won the NXT title, won all these titles, dominant, but he had to leave. That's when he went to AEW and find himself and now he's back and he's a he's better than ever and then Andrade's gonna dominate so that it was a quick video but it's interesting what they're gonna do with Andrade Cody Rhodes came out having a promo so he comes out thanks the crowd he's like I finally can say now I WrestleMania 40 the main event of I'll be facing the undisputed WWE champion Roman Reigns, and he goes, that, I have, have to thank you fans a lot, because you were guys really the ones that convinced everybody. So, pretty much saying that how the fans really got Cody the match, which is amazing. So cool. But, and he goes, and there's, everybody's happy besides one certain somebody that likes to say, oh, we were like some kind of crybabies. Pretty much, he's, he's pointing towards the rock. And he goes, and that certain somebody decided to hit me, and when you hit me, I hit back. So the Rock's pretty much calling out the Rock. The crowd starts chaining Rocky sucks at the, like, the top of their lungs and everything. Cody keeps on going on the Rock. And then Seth Rollins' music hits. Seth Rollins comes out and he goes, Cody, I understand why you picked Roman. Because you have unfinished business with him. You got screwed over last year. And you had to finish that story. You had to finish that story for you, for your father, for everybody here, and for me. He goes, I want you to finish that story, Cody. He goes, and last year, what are you going to do? Because last year it was even, you had... The Usos, Solos, Paul Heyman, all screwing you over. Paul Heyman and all them around ringside screwed you over. And Cody's like, and he's like, Cody, what are you gonna do this year to stop that? Because you now you have somebody even worse, higher than ever. You have the 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 biggest. Uh, it was like entertainer of them all, The Rock. What are you gonna do? And Cody just standing there as well. I'll be your shield, Cody, this year. And the crowd went crazy because he said shield. He goes, I'll be there for you. I'll protect you. So, pretty much, this is setting up night one of WrestleMania. It'll be Seth Rollins, Cody Rhodes versus, versus Rock and Roman Reigns. It's going to be a tag match. I just got a feeling. Also, I have a feeling Seth Rollins will be on uh, by ringside when Cody fights Roman. Also, then backstage. Oh, so Seth, after that, Seth said that this might be one of the best promos I think I've seen Seth Rollins ever do. This was just insane. It was just so intense and great. But then Seth left. Later backstage, Cody went up to Sami Zayn saying, oh, I got your back. If you got my back, it's like Cody's building the whole Avengers. It was like the WrestleMania 39 was Avengers Infinity War. And like WrestleMania 40 is Avengers Endgame. He's getting the full squad and everybody. He's going to get Seth Rollins. He's going to get Sam Zayn. He's going to get Jay Uso. And then there's if you need one more person to keep it even. And I think that one person is going to be Randy Orton. Because he's been just with Cody his whole career. It's just I got a feeling it's going to be Randy Orton just to help him. Or maybe you get the biggest baby faces of them all the the one only John Cena, but Cody's building the team to protect him at WrestleMania 40 when he dethrones Roman Reigns, and Roman cannot cheat because he's got his boys on his side too. Becky Lynch came out talking about how at Elimination Chamber she's gonna win. It's her first ever Elimination Chamber, and she's gonna win the Elimination Chamber, and she's and she's gonna face a Rhea Ripley at WrestleMania 40, and she's going to beat her. Before that, Nia Jax music comes out, and Nia's like, I'm, she goes, "You're such a role model. I'm so proud of you," but um. Also, before Nia Jax came out, I gotta say this. <laughs> Becky Lynch was talking about how she has to explain to her daughter all these things, but then now she has to explain why her dad wants to fight Maui. 
I found that hysterical because Seth Rollins wants to fight The Rock now. But no, then Nia Jax comes out. She goes, "You're such a role model, but I'm gonna beat Rhea Ripley before you even can get to her at WrestleMania 4. I'm gonna beat her in Elimination Chamber, and you'll have to fight me at WrestleMania 4." Rhea Ripley came out and all turned into a brawl and everything. Rhea Ripley and Becky Lynch ended up standing tall, staring, staring face to face. Ivar and L.A. Knight went on one-on-one -on -one for an Elimination Chamber qualifying match. I thought maybe AJ Styles was gonna get involved and screw up. LA Knight because LA Knight kind of screwed over AJ Styles on SmackDown, but nope, this match was really good. Ivar, Ivar almost had a hit with the moose out. LA Knight moves, bam, BFT, one, two, three. LA Knight's going to Elimination Chamber in Perth, Australia. And Liv Morgan won her Elimination Qualifying match, so she'll be in the women's one. The main event was Shinsuke Nakamura versus Sami Zayn. This match was pretty good going back and forth. They have a lot of history from over the years. Uh, Sami Zayn's almost had it, then Drew McIntyre came out on ringside. Pretty much distracting Sammy. Sammy got took out from the knee. Bam. Can Sasha one, two, three. Sammy Zayn lost to Shinsuke Nakamura. Then Drew McIntyre Shinsuke are just beating the holy hell out of Sammy Zayn. When Cody Rhodes music hits, Cody comes out. Bam. Cody cut her to Drew McIntyre. Crossroads to Shinsuke. And then Cody's pointing to Drew McIntyre. Because next week on Monday Night Raw, it's going to be Cody Rhodes versus Drew McIntyre. This show was pretty good. I'm going to give it a solid three out of five. I love the Seth Rollins Cody promo. I thought the main event match was pretty good. LA Knight and Ivar's match was good. And Bronson Reed and Bobby Lashley's match was okay. And the six man match to start of the show was great. So I'm going to give it a three out of five. This is JRW. Make sure to like, subscribe, stay tuned for more wrestling figure content. I'll see you guys in the next one.